Hello, my name is Paul Whitford. I'm an associate professor of physics at Northeastern University. And what I'm going to show you today are simulations performed in collaboration with researchers at Rice University, where we try to understand how the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein allows the virus to enter our cells. The first thing that you're going to see is the overall structure of the spike protein. After the S1 subunit dissociates, you'll see the S2, which is covered in glycans, or sugars. You also see the head domain and the fusion peptides, which we are going to focus on. When the simulation begins, the first thing that you will see is the head domain immediately retracts back to the viral membrane. At the same time, the tails try to extend outward to reach the host. What our calculations show is that this head becomes stuck, in particular the glycans hold it in place, and this is what allows the tails more time to try to find the host. In this particular simulation, the virus does find the host, and when it does, it grabs the host cell and then has to pull the virus and the host together through a zip ring motion. Once the zip ring motion completes, the two membranes merge, and this is what allows the virus to enter our cells.